This story dates back to 1988, when the world's most advanced and highest oil-producing rig near the coast of Scotland was rocked by powerful explosions and sank into the sea within minutes. Despite intense efforts for three months, the investigation team couldn't determine the cause of the accident. However, three months later, when the wreckage of the oil rig was retrieved from the seabed, a small piece of paper was found that revealed the whole truth. Viewers, in 1976, in the sea about 190 kilometers from the city of Aberdeen in Scotland, an offshore oil platform called Piper Alpha began operations for oil extraction and production. Piper Alpha was a robust and advanced oil platform, capable of withstanding sea storms of up to 185 kilometers per hour. It was located in a remote sea area far from any city, but was a city in itself as it housed 226 workers who worked around the clock in shifts. Being a highly technical and advanced rig, Piper Alpha was also the world's most productive rig, producing more than 300,000 barrels of oil daily during its peak times. Just four years after its inception in the early 1980s, it began processing natural gas and liquid petroleum gas. Weighing around 20,000 tons, equivalent to about 100 train engines, and standing 90 feet above the sea surface, more than half of its structure was submerged underwater. Interestingly, it was not a floating platform. Its foundation was raised from 750 feet off the sea bottom. Piper Alpha's main function was oil production, performed on the production deck, which housed various modules. Module A for pumping oil and gas, modules B and C for processing, and module D equipped with heavy generators to meet the rig's electricity needs. This complex process required regular maintenance of parts, and over 200 workers were employed for maintenance, who lived in compartments above the production deck. July 6, 1988, started as a routine working day. At 7.45 am, the maintenance staff requested permission from the control room for pump maintenance. This was a routine safety procedure on offshore oil platforms, so nothing was abnormal about it. Normally, offshore rigs pump oil and gas from thousands of feet below the seabed, process it, and then export it through pipelines using compressor pumps. Given the highly flammable nature of crude oil, natural gas, and LPG, several safety valves were installed in the process. On the production deck of Piper Alpha, Pump A was compressing gas, while Pump B was idle as it served as a backup. Pumps usually operated for several days before resting and switching to another pump, or if one failed, the other was started. At noon, workers were busy opening the safety valve of Pump B for maintenance, scheduled for that day. By evening, as the maintenance of Pump B's safety valve wasn't completed, the task was postponed to the next day. Since pump A was operational and any issues would trigger the automatic shoot-off of the gas valve, this delay wasn't considered dangerous. The evening shift workers took over from the day shift. The night shift consisted of 62 workers, while the remaining 164 went to the living quarters to relax. For the night shift workers, it was a typical working day until 9.45 p.m when the control room staff noticed an alarm indicating that pump A had tripped. This pump compressed gas to 78 atmospheres, a pressure 50 times greater than that in a car tire. A team went to restart pump A, but it failed to restart. With gas continuously accumulating in the tank, the situation was that if the pump didn't start within half an hour, the gas valve would shut off automatically, halting the rig's production process. The only option left was to start the backup pump B. Upon checking the maintenance sheet in the control room, it was noted that pump B hadn't been maintained that morning. So the decision was made to start pump B. 10 minutes after pump B was started, multiple alarms went off in the control panel, indicating a gas leak. Before the control room staff could react, a massive explosion engulfed the rig in flames. A nearby maintenance ship's captain witnessed the incident, noting that the rig initially had a blue flame. This explosion caused chaos on the rig. Some workers jumped into the sea to save themselves, while others waited for helicopter rescue according to the standard operating procedure. 
Meanwhile, all the rig's automatic safety systems activated, shutting down generators, pumps, and compressors, plunging the previously noisy rig into eerie silence. At 10.20 p.m., a second explosion occurred. The smoke and flames made helicopter rescue impossible. Nearby ships, installing underwater pipes, witnessed and recorded the entire scene. By this time, news of the disaster had spread worldwide. Before any firefighting or rescue efforts could be initiated, a third explosion rocked the entire Piper Alpha, causing modules and living quarters to fall into the sea. What started as a routine working day became one of the most tragic days in history. The Piper Alpha disaster claimed the lives of 167 workers, while 59 managed to survive under extremely difficult conditions. From the first to the third explosion, it took one and a half hours for Piper Alpha to be destroyed, dealing a significant blow to the oil industry. Workers on other rigs began resigning, and several oil platforms were shut down for safety checks. The biggest question was how such an advanced and productive rig could be destroyed. An investigation team was formed, but initially, they had little to go on besides photographic evidence and a few eyewitness accounts. Three months later, when the rig's debris was recovered from the seabed, a document was found that revealed the entire truth. On the morning of the disaster, when the maintenance team requested permission to maintain Pump B, they also sought permission to maintain its safety valve. This document was crucial. The night shift workers, before starting Pump B, noticed that maintenance hadn't begun on the pump, but failed to see the document about the removed safety valve which the day shift had already taken out. Because the pump and safety valve were in different rooms, no one noticed that Pump B's safety valve was missing. The absence of the safety valve led to a gas leak from Pump B, and within 10 minutes, the gas broke through the firewall and ignited. The fire quickly spread to Module B, where thousands of tons of crude oil were stored, leading to the second explosion which damaged the LPG gas line and caused the third explosion. To understand the magnitude of the disaster, at the time of the fire, Piper Alpha had enough gas to meet the entire domestic consumption of the United Kingdom. This small oversight not only resulted in a loss of 2 billion US dollars for the company, but also the tragic loss of many lives. Today in the city of Aberdeen, Scotland, a sculpture park commemorates these workers regularly visited by their families.